start by saying Happy New Year to everybody watching. And I want to thank everybody who left comments on my Christmas Day video, my q and I was just really so overwhelmed and blown away by all of the positive comments that I got on that and the previous Q&As. They've just been some of the nicest comments I've received on any of the videos I've ever done. So I just really appreciate all of you very, very much. I just got back from my holiday travels l late last night. I sort of was hemming and hawing this morning over what I wanted to make my video be for New Year's Day. My plan all along was to do my best of beauty 2016 video, which I am still intending to do. Don't fret. I guess I just sort of felt like doing more of a post-holiday catch-up video. So this video is a little bit strange. It's a bit of a mishmash, as you can probably discern from the title. I'm going to tell you about and unbox a, it's not even a subscription box. It's like a, it's sort of the closest thing I can liken it to that I know of is the FabFitFun boxes. This company that created something called the Bloom Box reached out to me. So I'm going to unbox that and tell you about it. And then I thought I would also take the opportunity to take a lot of you up on what you said you wanted to see and do a little tasting of my December Rocka chocolate bars. I really don't know how this is gonna go down, but I just had lunch, so I'm like definitely ready for some chocolate. These came before I left for my Christmas travel, so they've been waiting for me patiently. And then I have kind of like a holiday gift giveaway because I've been collecting some really nice products totally unopened and unused that I've been wanting to do as like a giveaway for a while and it's like time to just do it because I want the products to still be good. So I'll save that for the end. Also before we get started I would like to give a shout out to my new threads. This was a Christmas gift from my sister. It's from Anthropology, I believe and I am so smitten with it. But yeah, so this is just kind of like a really informal, casual, like let's hang out post holiday. I am intending to film my Best in Beauty 2016 later today. So I will have that up probably on, I don't know when. I'm done making promises because sometimes I keep them and sometimes I can't. All right, so let's start with the first part of this video, which is the Bloom Box. I will also have you know, I thought quite long and hard about accepting this PR offer because I've been just doing a lot of thinking about the kind of PR offers that I accept and show on my channel and I've been getting approached to do stuff and most of the stuff I say no to and so I'm very selective about what I decide to show in a video both because of like my own sort of personal preference and leanings but also because I don't do a ton of videos sometimes it's only one a week and I just have other things I would rather be doing than like an unboxing for a subscription box that I'm not like really that interested in, if that makes sense. But I, when I saw the contents of this box, I thought that it looked like a nice deal and a good way to try products that I have tried and liked. So that's kind of why I decided to accept their offer and show it on my channel. I'll leave the link down below, but Bloom is basically a, I don't know, it's like kind of like a social media startup focused on wellness they do a twice weekly newsletter and they're basically just part of the whole like wellness community i think they're based in new york city so they created this one-time curated box it's not a subscription where they handpicked the best brands in wellness to give you the ultimate start to this new year so i did want a time unboxing this around the new year they did a limited run of only 200 kits. If you would like to buy the box, I'm just getting all the logistics out of the way first. It is $49.99, and I was able to get a 10% off code for La More La Musique viewers. It is not an affiliate code for me. I don't make any money if you choose to buy this box. It's just a 10% off if you'd like to save 10%. So why don't I just show you what's in the box now? So it comes packaged like this. I could have actually taken it out of like the UPS phone. I am running on like five hours of sleep right now. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at the synchronicity. OMG, it was meant to be. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, so the box says chin up, chest out, I'm here. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> new year, new you, blah, da, dee, blah. Truthfully, I'm not really into resolutions. I just think that health is like a lifestyle. Okay, so this is what the box looks like inside. I will say it's 
pack it's not packaged like super amazingly <laughs> but you know i guess i'm kind of a snob about that sort of thing when i had seen the contents sort of previously it was like a mix of beauty products and nutrition products so right here on the top are two smoothie packets a probiotic smoothie and a nourishing smoothie by the brand ollie I think that they're vegan. Yep, they're vegan, gluten-free, natural flavors and sweeteners. They're a pea protein blend. They're 18 grams of protein each. Kind of something nice to try. Then they include an 18 rabbits fig, cranberry, and hazelnut bar. I like that this is organic. I've heard of this brand. They've been around for a long time. I can't do oats, so I will give this to somebody, a friend. Jenny, if you're watching. <laughs> oh, I thought this was a card, but it's actually a little tea sampler. Peak tea crystals. I really like the, um, wow, the branding on this. Like this was sort of sacred geometry-esque. Exceptional tea in an instant. Start your new tea ritual with a sampling of our tea crystals. It's kind of interesting. So there's a Sencha green tea sample, Earl Grey, I don't like Earl Grey tea, and Jasmine. I do, I will probably try the two green tea samples. Something smells good. I don't think it's the tea. All right, let's crack on. Oh, this, well, let me finish with the food, actually. Oh, so there's two eight. So there's two 18 rabbits bars. They give you two. This one is in cherry, dark chocolate, and almond. Again, I don't eat oats, so I can't have those, but it's a nice inclusion. Also from that brand, Ollie, these are Undeniable Beauty Hair, Skin, and Nail Vitamins. Again, this is not really my thing. I have sort of unconventional views on supplements like this. If you want to hear more about that, it's all like the medical intuitive stuff that I do. But if you don't work with a medical intuitive, then maybe you would be interested in trying that. They give a sample of the Justin's Maple Almond Butter. I wish I had had this when I was just on in the airplane that I was on last night. Instead, I was eating an apple and a grass-fed beef jerky stick, which was also okay, but I've tried like every Justin's peanut butter alternative in the past. The only thing I don't like is that it's not organic. I tend to, <laughs> I tend to go for almond butters that are organic, but as a one-time convenience thing, it's nice to try. That stuff is quite delicious too, I will say. Okay, now we're going to get into the beauty products, which I was very excited by. First is a sample of the Verb Gentle Cleanse and Light Volume Dry Shampoo. This caught my eye because I've been wanting to try this brand. I believe that they're carried on Sephora. That's what smells good in the box. So it does have some fragrance in it. Ooh, the dispenser is really nice. It comes out like very, very fine. It's sort of like a... Yeah, it's nice. It has kind of like a light, fresh baby smell. Not baby powder, but baby smell. I don't really need dry shampoo, I just washed my hair. This I was also quite excited about. This is the Herbivore Botanicals Cocoa Rose Coconut Oil Lip Tint. I have tried very limited products from Herbivore Botanicals. I think they have a beautiful aesthetic, very minimal, clean, modern. And I thought this looked like a really nice inclusion. This, the packaging is so pretty. <laughs> it has a rose smell, kind of a... You know, it's not really a synthetic rose smell. It's kind of like a, ooh, that's quite pigmented, actually. Wow. It's quite orange, like terracotta, actually. I always do swatches in the most inopportune places. That's what it looks like. Yeah, looks really pretty, actually. This brand I haven't heard of, it's called Onomi. And this is the ACE ACE Illuminating Eye Treatment, Activated Line Correcting Highlighter with 10% Vitamin C. Fragrance-free, paraben-free, alcohol-free, phthalate-free. Looks like this. I like the packaging. I think it's in a pump. Ah, interesting. So it comes out like a like makeup color. <laughs> I've never seen an eye treatment that's tinted like this. I don't quite know what to make of it, to be honest. 
I will stay open-minded though. Pat formula gently along the outer orbital eye bone or top of cheekbone, use as a highlighter, a mix with foundation or concealer for an all over glow. Okay, then this, I was also really excited to see in this box because this is a product that I love. It's actually in my best of beauty it's on my best of beauty 2016 list and it i thought it was just a travel size but they've included a full size of the david's premium natural toothpaste uh yeah this stuff is incredible it's the toothpaste i use i just recently bought two from beauty habit so i thought it, that's awesome that it's a full size then they've included some of these matcha ninja cold brew matcha packs i'm into this for sure it's raw and organic. It's a Canadian company, by the way, total non sequitur, but I don't know if it's just like what's happened in the U S post election, but I've always been very pro Canada. Canadians just seem so nice. I know that that's the stereotype, but in particular, like I totally want to meet like a Canadian man and go live in like Toronto or Montreal. Like it's like my new fixation. But anyway, not that I need a man to go do those things, but it would be nice. It's a Canadian company and it looks like all you do is just uh, their individual packets. Let's get into this. Put them in a container and add water and shake it up. I'm very into this. This is potentially like my favorite thing from the box because I'm a matcha freak. I love matcha. Let's see, but these things are sort of random. This is like a, that brand, that Ollie's smoothie brand. It's like a little recipe thing. Yeah, it's like smoothie recipes. That's kind of cool. A little card insert on why this matcha ninja stuff is so amazing, which you don't have to tell me twice. Okay, there's like a keychain for this brand called Alala. I don't know what I'll, oh, I think it's a an activewear company like Fabletics or something. Take $50 off your next order of 75 or more. So there's a coupon code to for $50 at alalastyle.com valid through February 28th, 2017. That's kind of cool. I might actually use that. I am in a process of replacing quality items of mine that are now like five, six years old and totally worn and tattered like my vintage Lulu's. So I actually just bought two new pairs of Athleta leggings with a gift card I had, but maybe I will look into that brand. And then the last thing in here is very random. I don't honestly know what this is. It's like some kind of alternative shoelacing system. They're called hickeys. <laughs> I'm confused. Fasten once and slip your sneakers on and off. This reminds me of like, adult Velcro. I'm probably not going to use these, I'll be honest, but maybe it's your thing. All right, so that's everything in this box. I think that it's 10% uh, off $50. I mean, if you are new to Eco Beauty and you want to try some new things, David's toothpaste, a new lip balm, this eye treatment seems intriguing, $50 off. I mean, I think it's pretty nicely curated. So let me know your thoughts or if you have additional questions. That took much longer than I expected. Why don't we transition now into the chocolate tasting portion of this video, which I've been thinking about. So I don't even know what the bars are. This was for the month of December. So I only have one more month. I might just renew it because I've really been enjoying the specialty bars. I got my sister and her husband a three month Raqqa chocolate subscription. Theirs will start in January. For the bars that I, I think I showed them in a previous video, I can't remember, but they are long gone. It was the pumpkin spice bar, bananas foster, and mint and nibs. I The pumpkin spice bar was really good. The mint and nibs was surprisingly good. I'm agnostic on mint and chocolate. Some people really like it, some people really don't, but it was very well done. The one that I was kind of like, eh, was the Bananas Foster, and ironically, that's one of Raka's like best-selling special edition bars, so I don't know what I wasn't tasting, but it didn't really taste like much to me, to be honest, just like a regular chocolate bar, which is still good, but... Okay, so the Raka chocolate subscriptions come in this little canvas bag with an insert describing the three bars. So it's called the first nib subscription. So this is the December 2016 selection. We have, <laughs> this is making me extremely excited, bourbon coconut crunch, old fashioned, and Cabernet Sauvignon. That is a very, very intense 
lineup of bars. I'm really excited to try these. Okay, so the little insert says, this month's first nibs is a toast to the holidays. We've partnered with our friends at Van Brunt Stillhouse in Red Hook, uh, which is in Brooklyn for anyone that doesn't know, to create bars you can have a proper cheers with. So I'm gonna go in order of the list they have here. So the first one they have is the Old Fashioned listed. The origin of the cacao is from the Dominican Republic. It's a 76% cacao bar. They aged the cacao for four weeks in Van Brunt Stillhouse bourbon barrels along with aromatic bitters. Orange peel steeped in cocoa butter infused the essential citrus essence traditionally found in this classic cocktail. I, I, I've never had an entire full old fashioned in my life, only sips. You probably would not want to see me drink a full old fashioned. The bar is full of the oakiness and spice of VBS bourbon, as well as the bitterness and zest you'd expect from a lovingly made old fashioned. I'm just gonna do baby tastes. It might be more than that. Yep, I can totally taste the bourbon. It's not overpowering, but you can definitely taste it. Let me do one more little bit. This is the darkest bar, 76 per at 76%. The others are 70% and 68%. Really nice. I like. Okay, next on the list is the Bourbon Coconut Crunch Bar which is from the Oco Carib estate in the Dominican Republic. This is a 70% cacao bar. You can tell me if you like that I just like sit here and read the description. <laughs> I don't know if it's boring. This bar is less about making a toast and more about things that are toasted. Bourbon casks all use a char number four barrel as a vehicle for aging and drawing out the rich flavors of the oak. This charring is essentially toasting the inside of the barrel to simulate a, I don't know how to pronounce this, Maillard? reaction in the liquid. We aged Oco Carib beans in one such barrel and refined them with toasted coconut. Once the chocolate was made, we blended it with toasted quinoa for an alluring crunch. I like bars that have like some kind of nib or texture to them. Yeah, you can see the quinoa. Let's see if I can show you. Mmm. So nice. The coconut's really like soft, but like creamy. Ah, this one is so good. I like it a tiny bit better than the old fashioned bar. It's so good. The mixture of the bourbon and the coconut, it has kind of like a bourbony boozy feel to it, but with a creamy coconut layer outstanding. All right, so let's end. This one I'm very, very intrigued about. They were posting about this one all over their Instagram feed, the Cabernet Sauvignon bar. So this is a Peru origin cacao. It's a 68%. And they say, for a top off, we're pairing this month's bars with our newly released Cabernet Sauvignon. So this is actually, the way that these subscriptions work is they do two exclusive to the chocolate subscription bars, and then a they include a bar that's um, part it's of either it. part of their permanent range or at the minimum I think it's available seasonally right now. To make it, we steamed Peruvian cacao from CAC Pangoa over simmering wine, infusing a rich grape flavor for a full body chocolate. Here's to you, salud. So cool. It's subtle, but it's there. Mm-hmm. It has like a, that, like the tannin or like acidity feel in your mouth from drinking a glass of red wine would give you. Do you know what I mean? It almost like, it feels like wine in your mouth. It's super interesting. It doesn't feel the same in the mouth as the other two bars do. It's very like silky. So good. Really interesting. Really interesting. I could taste the wine in this more than I could taste the bourbon in the old fashioned bar. So I think from this round, initial first impression, the bourbon coconut crunch is I think my favorite. It's just really super complex and layered and amazing and comforting and amazing. How many times can I say amazing? And then I think the Cabernet Sauvignon bar would be my second. It's I've never tasted a chocolate bar like this. Really incredible. And then I mean, it's not like my least favorite or anything, but the old fashioned bar 
it's just the bourbon is the most subtle in this to me from these the sort of like alcohol flavor um but yeah this was cool i kind of liked doing it on camera too let me know what you think <laughs> highly recommend these bars super super incredible i was also going to show you guys the skincare and makeup that i packed when i was traveling before i put it all away but then i just figured this video was going to be too long and i was right so let's move into the details of the little holiday giveaway that i'm going to be doing i have been collecting these products in a little stash to do for a giveaway for a while because i just literally have too much stuff guys and i give a lot of it away to be honest like i give a lot of stuff to my sister i give a lot of stuff to friends but i reserved a couple of very nice products that i'm just not going to get to so i have two products from tatcha to include the tatcha polished classic rice enzyme powder and the Balanced Pore Perfecting Water Gel. I had received a big PR package from Tatcha and I just haven't gotten around to using these. So I wanted someone else to get to enjoy them. I will be including a full-size Vapor Stratus Instant Skin Perfector in 902. Another blogger friend had given me two of these. I think I had just bought one. So I have a backup and now I want to give someone else the opportunity to try one of my favorite products. I have raved about this product endlessly. It's a kind of like skincare makeup hybrid. Talked about it a ton. I'm not going to belabor it here, but full size of that. And then I have a few deluxe um, sample things that came in Beauty Heroes boxes that I had just set aside because I had either tried them and just didn't need them. So this is the Mahalo Vacation Glow. I can't remember where this came actually. This may have come in a package Marina sent me. I can't even remember, but. It's sort of like a body oil, hair oil. And then the Laurel Honey Enzyme Mask. I've gone through like several of these and just thought I would set it aside for someone else to try. And then I have a Kahina Giving Beauty Esawira Body Serum Sample. I have a Beauty Blender Mini with some of the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser in here. I can't remember where this came. I think this came in like a gift with purchase from Beauty Habit or something. And then I'll just throw in a couple of samples. I have this Christophe Rabon Shade Variation Care Hair Mask with temporary hair color in it and a Deep Steep Pillow Spray. For some reason I thought I had more than this. I would like to send this to somebody that's interested in receiving these things. So I will take a picture of all this stuff and have the giveaway over on Instagram just because I find that the easiest place to host giveaways. So look for that. It'll have all the information with how to enter. I am going to limit this to US just because shipping rates are really kind of crazy right now and this is going to be like relatively heavy. It's just my way of saying thank you for a wonderful year at La More La Musique and I hope someone can enjoy these things. So that is going to do it for this mishmash video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope that you're having a wonderful new year. I've seen so many memes like 2016 needs to just... And I mean, I am right there with society. There's just so many issues going on right now. And here's hoping for a prosperous 2017 for all of us. Looking forward to another year of exciting times on La More La Musique. Your guys' support means everything to me. As I said, reading your comments on videos is just the highlight to my day when I read them. It's, it's very strange, honestly, that uh, me sitting here talking to a camera elicits that kind of reaction in people, but I'm extremely, extremely humbled and grateful for your support and recognition and all of that stuff. Stay tuned for my Best in Beauty video. Super excited to film that. I'm going to go start gathering the products and do that in a little bit. And then I will also be having my January Beauty Heroes review coming. I actually took the Hero product with me to Texas, so I've been testing it out regularly for the last like week and a half. Excited to share. I will see you guys very soon. Bye.